Thanks for joining us this morning. I'm meteorologist Nicole Karkik. We're following these stories. Widespread extreme cold in almost half the country. We've got a threat of snow squalls today, which will cause some problems on the roads. And we'll tell you where that is. And more storms in the long-range forecast. So winter is in full gear. Looking at Tuesday's highs, Toronto minus 7, Winnipeg minus 17 for you. But the warm air was certainly in southern BC. Vancouver getting up to a nice 11 degrees. For today, places like Calgary getting a nice Chinook wind, getting up to 3 degrees. But other than that, anything in this purple is where we're going to continue to see the cold air right into the weekend. And that does include parts of Atlantic Canada. So extreme cold warnings in place for the next couple of days. We've got Labrador City right now feeling close to almost minus 50 with the wind chill. This morning, uh, St. John's minus 9, feeling close to minus 15. Halifax minus 20 for you. Uh, for New Brunswick, a bit of cloud cover keeping you a bit warmer there. And we also have some snow to contend with into Thursday night. So uh, this is what's happening now and what will happen tonight. So we've got uh, Argentia as well as St. John's seeing 10 to 20 centimeters of snow. So snow right now, get a bit of a break, more again tonight. And sea, squall, uh, sea effect uh, happening off the Gulf of the St. Lawrence for St. Stephen, Cornerbrook, and in through the interior. Uh, through to Thursday, we've got New Brunswick seeing quite a little bit of snow, not too bad there. More of a concern here in Nova Scotia, Yarmouth and Digby. Tonight is when you're going to start to see that snow picking up. Ice here, you can see the streets completely ice covered. Kids were having fun. It's not so fun when you're trying to drive on it. Montreal this morning is minus 10, feeling close to minus 12. But look a little further north. That's where the extreme cold warnings are in place because that's where it feels like the minus 40s. And that extends into the city of Toronto. We've got an extreme cold warning in place there. So there are warming centers that have been opened up for today. And we've got northern Ontario spilling into the prairies, feeling the chill to start the day. Uh, this morning, Toronto minus 15, feeling close to minus 26. Here's the thing. These temperatures across Ontario towards Ottawa will be dropping as the day goes on. So it'll feel even colder as those winds start to pick up through the afternoon hours. Same can be said in through northern Ontario, but you're getting some sun. Us some great videos. Glad you could join us this morning. I'm meteorologist Nicole Karkic. As you step out the door today in the east, St. John's, you feel like minus 16. A little bit colder here towards Stephenville, minus 18 for you. And into the morning for the Maritime Provinces, Halifax feeling close to minus 20. And the winds are going to pick up through the afternoon as well. So that's going to make it feel even colder at times uh, with the wind chill. So for today, uh, we've got some snow in through St. John's to start off. You will get a break from that. And then into the afternoon, a new system starts to approach. Uh, Nova Scotia, you're going to see the snow first. So Lunenburg, as well as Yarmouth, over towards Halifax into the overnight hours. And then that will spread about 5 to 10 centimeters, generally speaking, in Nova Scotia. And then it pushes into Newfoundland for uh, the evening and overnight. Let's go right now to uh, Nathan Coleman. Nathan, tell us exactly where you are and uh, if your face is frozen yet. <laughs> okay, thanks so much, Nathan. And that's right. Uh, not everyone's seeing as much snow, but still a lot for some. Into Thursday night, we've got uh, St. John's, St. Lawrence picking up 10 to 20 centimeters. So that's today. You get the break. And then t tonight, you're going to see more snow moving in. There's the snowfall forecast across Nova Scotia. So as uh, Nathan was mentioning, Halifax, you're in the 5 to 10 centimeter range. And this system that's coming up tonight did drop about 10 centimeters of snow in Washington, D.C. So it is uh, already proven that it can bring quite a bit of snow. And the snow squall watches and warnings in Ontario are in play today with some northwest winds. Uh, Barrie right now seeing a squall uh, moving into the area, even Richmond Hill, Vaughan. And over towards London, Strathroy, and St. Thomas, as the morning goes on, we're going to see those squalls really setting up in the line of fire there. So a uh, 402 is going to be a bad drive. Also around Cambridge and Woodstock, temperatures are open up. And last winter, we did have 36 extreme cold weather alerts in place. This year, this is our first one. There'll be more to go, I'm sure. The squall setting up right now off of the Great Lakes. So Dr. Shapiro talking about the risks with frostbite. Uh, Nicole Karkig alongside Chris Murphy here. And we put this together for you uh, just so you can see the impact if you're outside too long. Oh, boy. Yeah, really cold. Once you hit minus 25, you're really feeling it with the wind chill. But then it gets dangerous, anything between minus 30 and colder. And there are numerous wind chill uh, watches and warnings or extreme cold across the country. We'll get to that. Wind, of course, is a big story across Atlantic Canada. By the way, this low pressure system will bring some snow in Nova Scotia today, tomorrow across Newfoundland. But where you see the orange 
averages, sustained winds 20 to 40 kilometers per hour. The Reds, sustained winds 40 plus, so that right. means stronger gusts. And that can, of course, make our wind chills even worse. Uh, so yes. that will be the story through Atlantic Canada. We do have uh, just issued this morning parts of New Brunswick under extreme cold warnings. Yeah. Labrador City right now feels like minus 49. Unbelievable. Very, very cold. All right, and uh, across Newfoundland, winter storm looms for you tomorrow. Snow and wind 15 centimeters for St. John's. Not out of the question. Wow. And then we've got Quebec here. Montreal this morning, minus 10, feeling close to minus 12. A little bit of an improvement Tolerable. from yesterday. Yes. But towards the north, Chris, worse. Yeah. Uh, and it's going to get colder through the day and tonight. That's true not only in southern Quebec, but southern Ontario as well. Take a look at tomorrow morning. Quebec City going to feel like minus 40. That's dangerous cold. And here we go this afternoon. Toronto, uh, colder than you are right now. Yep. Minus 16 into the afternoon, feeling close to minus 27. Ottawa, minus 20, feeling close to minus 32. And you are feeling that cold front. It's coming through. It's been dropping some significant snow squalls uh, anywhere from Georgian Bay to Lake Ontario and east of Lake Huron, including the London area, could be right. under the gun today. London, St. Thomas, Strathroy, careful yeah. for driving. And then Thursday morning, mm -hmm. uh, still cold, but slight improvement. So the tip of the northern peninsula. Thank you for that, Kathleen. Snow is coming. Yeah, that's right. St. John's could get over 20 centimeters of snow. Thanks for joining us. I'm meteorologist Nicole Karkic. Our developing stories, widespread extreme cold for a large portion of the country. We've got extreme cold warnings in place. The threat of squalls today is going to cause some of the major highways to be undrivable. And more storms in the long-range forecast as we look to the weekend. Places like Halifax and St. John's uh, will be getting some more snow. Now for this morning for you in the east, we just had a few hours ago an extreme cold warning issued in New Brunswick. It does include Bathurst, Fredericton, as well as Woodstock. So feeling like minus 35. Uh, pretty calm to start the morning in the maritime provinces, but we do have increasing cloud cover, a system moving up from the states, and that will drop about 5 to 10 centimeters this evening through Halifax, Yarmouth, Digby as well, and then it will move into Newfoundland and St. John's. There's a winter storm watch in place for you. We're, we have the strong winds coming uh, tonight as well as a lot of snow. Now let's go to Halifax right now where we find Nathan Coleman. Nathan, it's sort of the calm before the storm for you in Halifax. Halifax this morning. I'm sure you don't, but you're going to be where the action is, Nathan, in Halifax anyway. So we're going to see all of that snow moving in tonight into tomorrow morning. Winter storm watch here in place for Newfoundland. Uh, we've got Cape Race included, St. John's, Bonavista as well, because we're going to see those strong winds picking up. And while you're seeing snow this morning, that will move out, and then we have another system moving through. So this is two systems to deal with in Newfoundland. The white indicating the most snow, 10 to 20 centimeters. For St. John's alone, it could be up to 18. And then the forecast here, as Nathan mentioned, not too much in New Brunswick, but the white in Yarmouth is the most over towards Halifax and Cape Breton Island. In Ontario, a squall setting up with some cold northwesterly winds. Goderich over towards Collingwood. We've got London, Strathroy, St. Thomas as well. Uh, going to see some very tr tricky driving conditions as you head out today. And that's where we find Kelly Noseworthy in southwestern <coughs> Ontario at this point. Kelly, wow, right. it's looking uh, pretty messy out there. Where is she, London? <laughs> Good. Oh, it is messy. We Thanks, Kelly. So, in fact, in London, Hamilton and Toronto, uh, within the last few hours, we've seen temperatures drop by three degrees. So that's the trend as the day goes on. These are the watches and warnings in place. So traveling on the 400 series highway is not good. Thanks, Kelly. Wow. So quite the scene in London. Uh, this morning, London went from a watch to a warning for snow squalls. Uh, we also have included in that Watford uh, as well as eastern Lambton County. So you can see that band really heavy in the dark blues with those northwest winds. Goderich as well. Uh, to, towards areas like uh, Woodstock, we've also seen some heavy banding too. So in these areas, we could get to up to 10 to 20 centimeters of snow within 12 hours. And notice it will reduce visibility on the roads too. Uh, towards Vaughan, Richmond Hill, even Orangeville, uh, we could also see those bands this afternoon. Highway 401, 402 is going to be treacherous today. So these are the watches and warnings in place. The watch is in place for Perry Sound and Huntsville, just because we're going to see those wind shift direction into the afternoon. But for this morning, this is the area of concern marked in blue where those northwest winds will be howling. So yes, it'll be cold, plus the snow will be dropping. Barry in the two to five centimeters. But yes, London, Grand Bend, Strathroy, St. Thomas, you could be getting up to, I'll let you see, 10 to 20 centimeters of snow into Thursday. And your morning temperatures will be warmer than your afternoon temperatures. Towards Ottawa, minus 16 by the afternoon, you're going to be minus 20 without the wind chill. This morning in Quebec, we've got Montreal at minus 12. A bit of an improvement from yesterday, but still quite cold. And towards Atlantic Canada, we do have in northern New Brunswick an extreme cold warning in place, including the city of Fredericton.
Thanks, Kelly. And she's in London, and you can see why school buses are canceled for today. And Kelly, earlier when we were checking in with her about 15 minutes ago, her hat had a design on it. Now it's completely covered in white. Uh, this is the zoomed-in radar. You can see some of the highways, uh, like 401 here, uh, is completely going to be hit by these squalls at this point as you're headed out. Goderich can card in as well. And these northwest winds will continue into the afternoon. So Grand Bend, St. Thomas, London, you will be getting up to 10 to 20 centimeters of snow in the next 12 hours. You've been upgraded to a watch this morning, a warning this morning rather, a watch though still remains in place for Perry Sound and Huntsville as the winds shift direction into the afternoon hours. So this is a look at our snowfall forecast. It's going to come down really fast in this area marked in white. So the 402, 401 in the area is not going to be good for driving. And even Barrie, Newmarket, Richmond Hill, Orangeville as well is going to see the effect of these squalls as the morning goes on. Atlantic Canada, snow for you coming tonight. We do have in Newfoundland some snow uh, just a bit around St. John's this morning, but what's coming tonight is going to be a little bit more impressive, especially for the Maritime Provinces. Yarmouth, Digby over, Digby over towards Halifax, Lunenburg as well, seeing about 5 to 10 centimeters. Then it does shift into Newfoundland where we do have a winter storm watch in place. We'll have more on that watch in Newfoundland in a moment, but right now let's head outside to Nathan Coleman. And Nathan, with your red on, you're looking very Canadian today. <laughs> That's right, so not seeing the brunt of it, but in Newfoundland, it's going to not only be the snow coming tomorrow night, uh, really actually tonight into tomorrow, uh, we're going to also get some strong winds along the shorelines gusting between 60 to 80 kilometers an hour. St. John's, Cape Race, getting the most snow with this event, so tonight into Thursday night. Uh, Argentia, Bonavista also seeing quite a bit, and so once that snow falls, it's going to be blowing all around into Thursday evening, so Monday morning, a messy drive as well. So this comes through this evening, you notice increasing cloud cover as the day goes on, but New Brunswick's being spared from the worst, but you're very cold this morning and still cold here in northern Ontario, where we do have extreme cold warnings in place. Now to Arizona. Thanks for that update, Kelly. So she is in London, Ontario, where school buses have been cancelled. You might want to check uh, for any other school cancellations in your area, especially in southwestern Ontario. So look at these highways. Anything uh, marked with the number here are those major highways, uh, 401, 403, 402 as well, going to get hit very hard as this very intense, almost single band passes through the area. We have the northwest winds, uh, London over towards Exeter, Goderich as well, in the line of fire. And we do have those places in a warning. Uh, but just included in a warning right now, we have Niagara, Simcoe, Dunville, and Caledonia, where if you're headed out the door today, to start off the morning, we could see an intense band bring visibility under 200 meters and drop two centimeters very quickly. So that just included for this morning drive. And towards Barrie, Wyerton, we have the warning as well. The watch here in Perry Sound and Huntsville is for later on in the afternoon as those winds shift direction. But the northwest winds also will be blowing all the snow around. And even when they shift direction uh, in the southwest for the the afternoon today, we are still going to see uh, some very intense blowing snow. So widespread extreme cold in eastern Canada towards the prairies, a threat of snow squalls in Ontario and more storms in the long range forecast. So this is not coming to an end very quickly. And then we look here at anything marked in purple, feeling close to the minus 30s or minus 40s in some cases where extreme cold warnings are in place. So to start the day in Marathon, it's a minus 42. Very dry and cold across the eastern Canada. Winnipeg minus 20 this afternoon. St. John's minus 5. Doing a lot better in Vancouver at 8 degrees. And Calgary's 2. While Saskatoon is minus 18. Thompson minus 17. Wow. Snowing and uh, squalls battering London and he's out running. It's pretty amazing. That's inspiring. But that's probably a safer way to travel than if you're going to be driving. School buses are canceled in the London region. And you can see in the, in the dark blue, the northwest winds swinging that band towards the 402. So if you're traveling in the area, it's going to be rough, even up towards the 401 in the Guelph region. Uh, we also have Collingwood towards Barrie, uh, Richmond Hill this morning. Vaughn could start to see the squalls reducing visibility on the roads very quickly because that's how the squalls work. Out of nowhere, uh, they they could just hit you uh, along the highways. Uh, we do have just included a little while ago a snow squall warning for Niagara, Dunville, and Sim Simcoe and Caledonia. Uh, as you head out today, just for the morning time, we're going to see an intense band that will drop about two centimeters very quickly, reducing visibility on the road. So if you can wait a little bit into the afternoon to go out in that area, it might be wise. Perry Sound, Huntsville, you're going to be in the line of fire later on today as the winds shift direction to a southwest flow. And also with this northwest flow, 
this is a snowfall forecast, but we're getting those very strong winds, which make the wind chills uh, very, very substantial for today. Yesterday in uh, the Kingston region, we had quite a bit of snow for you today. It will be about uh, two to five centimeters, so not as much. This morning in Atlantic Canada, we're following a system moving up towards Nova Scotia. We'll have Dig Digby, Yarmouth, Halifax, seeing about five to 10 centimeters of snow. And then as it makes its way into Newfoundland, that's where the winds are going to pick up, blow all the snow around. So that will begin overnight. Let's now go to Nathan Coleman, who's in Halifax. And uh, yes, I can see your breath. It's looking really cold. All right, looking forward to that, Nathan. As we look to this winter storm warning, Newfoundland included uh, for St. John's, Cape Rays, Bonavista as well. Uh, winter storm watch means that you have two elements of concern. It's the snow plus the very strong winds, which will be bl blowing it all around. So beginning tonight, uh, St. John's could be seeing about 18 centimeters of snow. This is the forecast for Newfoundland, and the forecast here for Nova Scotia could get up to 5 to 10 centimeters. Now, Deb Medietchka has been enjoying a winter getaway. She's in Scottsdale, Arizona, enjoying some champagne for today. All right, thanks so much, Kelly. We even had one of our uh, co-hosts getting stuck this morning because his yes. car wouldn't start. So that could happen to a lot of people today. Absolutely. We've got uh, we've got a couple of main bands here. The big one is coming off Lake Huron, and it stretches from about Kincard to Grand Bend, and then shoots its way all the way across London, even towards the Niagara region, all the way to Syracuse, New York, mm -hmm. and a secondary one, of course, between Barrie and uh, Owen Sound. Nicole, this one's going right down towards the Shelburne area. Right. So uh, reduced visibility on those yes. roads. Highway 402, Highway 401, as well. Well, the Niagara region, very quickly this morning, we're going to see a burst of about two centimeters dropping, uh, so do be careful out there. The watch zone includes Perry Sound and Huntsville just for this afternoon as those winds shift direction, but even when we see the shift in direction, yeah. uh, we're going to see the snow blowing all around. Absolutely, because of the strong winds, and the winds will pick up tonight, and they'll stay with you strong right through till tomorrow, but you'll notice these this band here could get locked in. Now, Environment Canada shows saying anywhere from about Grand Bend towards Strathroy and Port Stanley, so just west of London right. may be the area where it would be particularly bad for an extended period of time. Right, and I'm hiding this, but people, uh, you could see 10 to 20 centimeters of snow into Thursday, yeah. so within uh, 12 hours, up to 20 centimeters for some. And some areas even more than that. Exactly. A uh, combination of an, the Arctic front that's going through southern Ontario will make its way towards the Maritimes, and then a low pressure offshore will bring some snow into Nova Scotia, and that leads us to Nathan Coleman. Right. So the calm before the storm. Nathan, uh, again, I mentioned looking very Canadian in the red. I love it. That's right. Thanks so much, Nathan. Yes. And uh, this morning, those temperatures. Uh, it's cold. Uh, it's cold. Yep. And, and Montreal, minus 12, feeling closer to minus 14. But at least we're not here, Chris, tomorrow morning. Well, Mount Washington uh, is uh, known for having the worst weather in the world, so it's going to feel like minus 80. But look at Montreal. Your temperature of minus 22 tomorrow morning will feel like minus 38, so it's going to be uh, bundle up in La Belle Provence You're as well. You're right. And uh, this morning, those are the wind chills. It's getting even colder as the day goes on. Mm -hmm. Now let's switch gears and okay. go out to Deb Medietchka, who's enjoying her winter getaway in Arizona. Thanks, Kelly. And it's going to look like that in a lot of other areas in southern Ontario with these northwest winds. We have Collingwood getting hit by a band, uh, sort of near the Newmarket, Vaughan region as well. And this is just a little bit more intense. Goderich, Grand Bend, over towards Lucan, London, uh, even Cambridge has seen some significant snow squalls already this morning. A drop in the temperatures as well in the last few hours. And the Niagara region, too, will get reduced visibility on the roadways. And how about this? Road closures marked in pink. Uh, between Port Elgin and Goderich, we've got Highway 21 with a road closure right now, and as well Highway 9. So not going to be traveling down that road. Across the country, so much is going on. This has been such a busy week as we start off the new year. Anything in purple is where we have extreme cold warnings in place. So from the prairies, that the Toronto region has been as low as minus 17, and that is our projected temperature into the afternoon. So we are dipping down. Uh, this does include Toronto for the extreme cold warning. With the Ottawa region as well. Ottawa for you feeling close to the minus 20s this afternoon. These are our morning values, but keep in mind with those strong winds, it will feel colder this afternoon. Thanks, Kelly. So in the London region, school buses are canceled for today, uh, as well as other areas in the southwest. So check on that. The dark blue is where we've got our heaviest snowfall at this point. Grand Bend toward Exeter, Lucan, St. Thomas, Strathroy is going to be messy today as you're headed out this morning. Highway 402, 401 as well, looking pretty bad. And the Niagara region just got hit with uh, about uh, visibility under 200 meters at times. Collingwood towards Barrie as well, not as significant 
as the one in southwest, but still you're going to see reduced visibility along Highway 400. So these are our watch zones. Anything in the blue, Perry Sound towards Huntsville does have uh, a watch zone. That is for later on today as we see those winds shift direction. Now we do have the Greater Toronto Region included in seeing some snow into Thursday. That's because tonight a little system comes through and that will bring uh, the Golden Horseshoe, Toronto, over towards Kingston, a little bit more snow, which will impact the commute again tomorrow morning. Now looking at the Atlantic Canada area, later on tonight, a system comes through for you. It will bring some snow. So Halifax over towards Cape Breton, five to 10 centimeters on the way. So right now in Halifax, it's cold, yes, but we're not seeing the messy conditions, Nathan. It's gonna look a lot different as we check in with you tomorrow morning. All right, thanks so much, Nathan. Good thing to keep in mind. And for this morning, extreme cold warnings are in place for northern New Brunswick. Fredericton is included, Edmonston as well. Halifax, minus 15 for you. St. John's, minus 8, feeling closer to minus 13. We do have some snow in St. John's for you this morning. More is coming tonight. Now look at this contrast. Montreal, Thursday morning, minus 22, feeling like minus 38. But Mount Washington at the summit, it'll feel like minus 80 with the wind chill. How about that? So I don't want to be there. For the morning in Toronto, it's minus 15. Ottawa's minus 16, but temperatures are falling as the day goes on. So by the afternoon, Ottawa, you're going to be minus 20, where Toronto is going to be maybe minus 17 later on in the day. Anything in purple is where you could get frostbite within five to 10 minutes. Now from cold air to a hot air balloon ride. Let's check in with Deb Medieczka on her winter getaway. Thanks for joining us. Nicole Karkic with Chris Murphy here. Yes. Stories we're following. Widespread extreme cold anywhere from Saskatoon right towards Labrador, and they've been extended towards southern Ontario right. and New Brunswick come tomorrow morning. Wow, and a yes. threat of snow squalls today, closing oh, down boy. some highways, uh, school bus cancellations yeah. as well. More storms than Long Reef, a little one for the prairies tonight, and a uh, larger one for Newfoundland. That's a week for tomorrow, so we'll get to that too. Right, and for this morning, if yep. you're traveling in southwestern Ontario, oh, London, Lucan, Strathroy, St. Thomas, it is messy, and for the afternoon, those winds will be locked in place until the overnight when we mm -hmm. see a shift. And then, Chris, this comes through uh, Thursday afternoon. Yeah, keep in mind, and then the wind southwest. It's going to be windy, 50 plus kilometers per hour, and then near the lake shores come tomorrow, even 70 or 80 plus kilometers per hour. So the winds drive the snow squalls. Today, northwest winds means they're down in the south, and tomorrow they'll get up towards the uh, northern areas. Exactly. So mm -hmm. Thunder Basing, some snow tomorrow, and then for Friday morning, we're going to get it in the Golden Horseshoe again. Yeah, maybe two to five centimeters away from the snow squalls, but the squalls themselves could down some, some beastly amounts between Barrie and Collingwood and south towards Shelburne, and then particularly off Lake Huron down towards the London Strathroy vicinity. Right. This means the warming centers are open, the homeless getting inside. Uh, minus 15 core temperature or wind chill of minus 25 is generally the criteria. Right, and we certainly have that in play oh, for yeah. the morning, and it's getting even colder as yes, the day goes on. Uh, since we've been here, temperatures have been dropping uh, by a few degrees each hour. Yeah, and they'll continue to do that, so dress for wind chills in the minus 30s. Uh, Ottawa minus 33 come tomorrow morning and in Quebec, uh, Quebec City could be looking at wind chills minus 40 tomorrow morning. Wow, so that's wow. Thursday, but uh, as we look at this, Chris, this is not where I want to be. Met Washington, well that's uh, that's a storm chaser's dream. It's considered <laughs> the worst weather in the world right. and uh, feeling like minus 80, but Montreal tomorrow morning is going to feel like minus 38. And as we look at Winnipeg, it will be minus 25 this morning, mix of sun and cloud. Those winds, however, sustained at uh, 20 kilometers an hour. Wind chills are going to be bad in the prairies. Thanks so much, Kelly. So the London region, as you can see, uh, the snow is piling up by Thursday. You could be looking at up to 20 centimeters of snow. According to our legend, if you draw your attention to the white, that is the area being hit the hardest. Those winds are just locking in with a northwest flow. So Grand Bend, Lucan, Strathroy, St. Thomas, uh, even towards Newmarket, we're going to see some strong squalls over towards Barrie. Uh, you can see near Barrie around Collingwood, Huntsville. Uh, we will get those squalls in the afternoon and through the evening time shifting towards Perry Sound. So the winds, big part of the story today because that's impacting our wind chill values. We've got this cold front swinging through. The Niagara region did have some squalls this morning, very brief, very uh, heavy, but that has subsided. It was just along that cold front. But anything that pops up in the red color is our sustained winds between 40 to 60 kilometers an hour. So along the shorelines, particularly bad. And then it gets even worse through the overnight and continues to be quite strong into Thursday as well. And then a little system comes through and that drops even more snow in Ontario. This evening, minus 18 in Toronto. We haven't been this cold since March of uh, this year. 
a fourth. So we've been in, in a long stretch where temperatures have not dipped down to minus 18. Uh, towards Ottawa, minus 25 this evening for you, feeling like minus 36. And through the overnight, not a big change. It's just going to be dangerously cold again. This evening in the east, Halifax, minus 9 for you, feeling like minus 16. St. John's, minus 5, feeling like minus 11. Your big story is through the overnight, we're going to start to see snow moving into Nova Scotia. New Brunswick not getting hit as hard with the snow this round, but then eventually it does reach Newfoundland. So through the overnight, winds will start to pick up and we're going to see some snow into tomorrow morning's commute. Now for Thursday morning, Montreal, you're minus 22, feeling like minus 38. But let's compare that to Mount Washington Summit. It'll feel like minus 80 tomorrow morning with the wind chill. That's a big wow. For the look ahead here, we can see how temperatures are starting to adjust. Halifax, minus 11 Thursday, a big bump up to 4 degrees on Saturday. And then for, uh, for Friday rather than Saturday, your high is minus 6. Let's head to uh, the West 14. So a little bit of a Chinook wind happening in Alberta through the south. Calgary is going to feel that certainly into the afternoon with temperatures above the freezing mark, about two to four degrees by the afternoon. But with a little bit of warm air coming through Grand Prairie over towards Edmonton, we could see some ice pellets this afternoon into the evening, even reaching down to Red Deer and then some snow in through southern Saskatchewan. Let's go now to Arizona where Deb Medieczka is enjoying her winter getaway as well as Chim some champagne. Late the morning for a lot of people heading out the door today. Widespread extreme cold, probably hearing this sound a lot. <laughs> That's your car not starting. That is almost as bad as hearing the sirens of a police behind you oh, <laughs> when you're speeding. Goodness. Personal right. experience we're talking here, Nicole? Oh, <laughs> bad ex one bad experience. Uh, threat of snow yeah. squalls today, and we've got more storm storms than long-range forecast, so it's not coming to an end at all. Busy, busy, busy. And as we look to Ontario, yeah. uh, we've got this uh, northwest band that's just entrenched in southwestern Ontario. Oh, yeah. London, Strathroy, Lucan, those typical areas. Yeah. Maybe getting 20 centimeters today, Chris. That's the Arctic cold front, so it's like opening up the freezer door and over the unfrozen lakes. Now the wind, northwest today, becoming more westerly tonight and then gradually to southwest. So what that means is that the snow squalls in the south will shunt their way northward. So you're in Muskoka region, you're getting a bit of a break now from the squalls likely to return tonight. Exactly. And then this comes through for Thursday yeah. night. So Friday morning will be messy. Not as messy as the typical snow belt regions, yeah. but still nonetheless places like Toronto Absolutely. over towards Whitby uh, could be seeing about two to five centimeters. So, all right. The biggest bands of snow will be between Barrie and Collingwood for today, but particularly uh, down Lake Huron towards the London Strathroy vicinity. Numerous highway closures already, the secondary routes. But afternoon, and we haven't been minus 17 as a low mm -hmm. since March 4th. Yeah, it is the coldest day of the year, coldest day of the season. And when you factor in the wind chills, of course, feeling like the minus 25 to minus 30. Look at Ottawa's going to feel like yeah. minus 33 tomorrow morning. So very, very cold today, and it's going to last right through the first half of tomorrow at least. Exactly. And the morning in uh, Quebec oh, here, boy. the north are doing worse, obviously, than places like Montreal, but still minus 36 with the wind chill as you start your day tomorrow. Tomorrow, but That's at right. least we're not going to be at Mount Washington Summit for Thursday morning because no. it's feeling like minus 80. Oh my goodness. All right, uh, we've got some snow coming to Nova Scotia today, 5 to 10 centimeters, and a winter storm warning looms for Newfoundland. That's tomorrow. Strong winds and snow, lots of blowing snow. So you've been dealing with some blowing snow last night and it's eased off this morning, but it's going to come back. All right, and we've got Winnipeg this morning, minus yes. 25 for you, but the city has said that the frozen pipe situation mm -hmm. is on target for a typical winter and no city pipes are frozen at this point. Well, compared to last year, it was so bad, but uh, cold air, minus 25 this morning in Winnipeg, feeling like minus 36, so you're just below the wind chill warning criteria, but Regina and Saskatoon, it's not a strong wind. You don't need a strong wind when your core temperature is around minus 30, feeling like minus 40, so bundle yourself up, plug in the car if you yes. want it to start, and also uh, the pets, got to think about the pets as well, bundle them up. They'll need little booties because the bottom of their uh, feet can get yeah, frostbite. that's true, and uh, as we look to the snowfall forecast yeah. here, Interesting situation in Alberta. We've got that little bit of a warm up in Calgary, but by the night we're cooling down enough that about two to five centimeters could fall there, Chris. All right. When our storm wow. hunter, Mark Robinson, apparently slept in his car last I night know. because the Trans Canada is closed west of Revelstoke. Can't get into Alberta. The old expression, you can't get there from here. And he's stuck there because of avalanche control and also all the downed trees and debris. Right. Well, let's switch gears and find right. out how Deb Medieczka is enjoying her winter getaway <laughs> in Arizona. She's in Scottsdale.
Thanks, Kelly. And so you can see why in London school buses aren't running. A lot of other areas in southwestern Ontario has the same problem. You're in the white around Grand Bend, Strathroy as well, Lucan too. So that could potentially get 10 to 20 centimeters or more, maybe even 30 for some areas by Thursday. Uh, through cottage country as well around Barry, Collingwood, uh, we could get up to 5 to 10 centimeters, uh, but close to the shorelines a little bit more. Now, I just read on Twitter that the 402 highway around Middlesex from 401 to Kerwood is closed in both directions. I imagine that could be weather related. It is bad out there. Now this morning those winds out of the northwest are going to be locked in place for quite a while so the bands that you're seeing right now will just keep on going. If you're not seeing the snow squalls at this point you're pretty good until the winds shift direction. But the winds are also another part of the problem because they're going to be sustained at 20 to 40 kilometers an hour even higher in this dark red and then through the overnight winds picking up and then by tomorrow we're going to see those winds shift to a southwest flow. So that puts places like Perry Sound, Huntsville, uh, in the line of fire for those snow squalls. Now this evening, Toronto is minus 18, feeling like minus 27. Ottawa, look at you, minus 25, feeling like minus 36. So the coldest evening of the season so far for many. And through the overnight, not a big improvement. It is definitely chilly out there. Stay safe. Oh, thanks so much, Kelly. Good things to keep in mind. Now take a look at the radar. It is pretty nasty out there. We've got this northwest wind locked in place. Concarden over toward Goderich, Lucan, London, Exeter, Chatham, Kent, uh, Strathroy in the line of fire. And it's going to stay in place like that through the morning and afternoon. We also have Collingwood towards Barrie, even reaching places like Vaughan. So not a good drive. Hey, if if you're not seeing anything at this point, you're in luck because we're not going to see those winds shift direction until later on in the day. Then Perry Sound towards Huntsville with those southwest winds, you will get the traditional lake effect snow that you're used to, bringing a lot in a very short period of time. But our eye is on this region, Grand Bend to London, possibly seeing 10 to 20, even 30 centimeters in some cases. And then extending towards Barry, you could get about uh, uh, two to five centimeters, but in the white, close to the shorelines, getting hit with a little bit more. Now, this marked in pink here is where we have some road closures. Port Elgin to Goderich, uh, 21, then towards 9, also north of Exeter, Highway 4. And uh, just read a tweet a little while ago, 402 in the Middlesex region from 401 to Kerwood is closed as well in both directions. So do keep that in mind. Also keep this in mind, anything marked in purple is our coldest air. Southern Saskatchewan cold weather alert that was issued for the city. Tonight will be the coldest day of the winter season so far end the year in Ontario, especially in the south. No, this evening through the north, uh, we will see some sunshine and clear skies in Marathon. Uh, it'll be minus 30 in Thunder Bay with the wind chill. Speaking of wind chills and the potential for frostbite, let's check in with some tips from Dr. Shapiro. Okay, good things to keep in mind because this morning was even a little warmer than we're getting into the afternoon. And by the evening, Ottawa feeling like minus 36 with the wind chill as we make our way east. Also some dangerously cold temperatures. Quebec City minus 35 for you. Halifax not doing as bad. Minus 16 with the wind chill for you in St. John's is minus 11. Well, from cold air to a hot air balloon, let's head to Arizona where Deb Medieczka is enjoying her holiday vacation. It is going to feel much colder, so make sure you do bundle up. And I know that... Jacqueline and Nicole are nice and warm back in the studio. I'm going to send it back to you. I know. How oh, unfair. I know. We shouldn't tell her that we were even feeling a little too warm oh, at times today. It's hot here in the oh. studio. Oh, we're the worst. Place. We are the worst. <laughs> Sorry, Kelly. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, definitely this northwest band is setting up towards London, Exeter, mm -hmm. breaking up a little bit from uh, about an hour ago, Jacqueline. But still, that's going to be locked in place through the morning and afternoon. Yeah, I heard one of our meteorologists, Matt Grincher, say if, you, if you're seeing the snow, you're likely locked into it for most of the day because right. those bands are not going to start to meander too much, right? So exactly. northwest flow. Uh, yeah, let's continue the story and uh, talk a little bit about the watches and warnings. The snow squall watch up toward the north, but the warning areas are those uh, areas we see those bands right now. Right, typically the snow belt regions. Mm -hmm. uh, you know the drill. You're going to get hit with low visibility at times and also a lot of road closures. Uh, just about an hour ago, the 402 uh, closed in both directions. Middlesex from 401 uh, towards uh, uh, Wood Road, I think. Okay. Uh, and then we've got Port Elgin to... Uh, uh, Grand Bend closed as well. Cold is
is the other part of the story today, frigid cold. In fact, Nicole, probably some of the coldest air that we've seen since last winter. And I found out that uh, Toronto hasn't been minus 17 since March 4th. Okay. And that's what we're forecasting for the afternoon and evening. Uh, we could even dip down to minus 18. And you think about that, March 4th last year, that was later in the season to yes. still be at that kind of, uh, you know, cold temperature. So yeah, we already see that, saw our daytime high in Toronto at around 1 a.m. was about minus 10, dropping throughout the day, throughout the evening, minus 27. Bundle and then up. Uh, look at Ottawa, minus 25, feeling close Ooh. to minus 36. The cold air is still in the east, not as bad as some other areas, like St. John's, minus 5 this evening, uh, but certainly a lot colder in northern Quebec. Jacqueline will be looking at these stories with you throughout the next few hours. I will. Widespread extreme cold, of course, the threat of snow squalls today and more storms in the long range. But first, we're going to talk to uh, Dr. Uh, Howard Shapiro about wind chillies from the Toronto Board of Health. Here's more on that story that we're following.